having a cancer diagnosis obviously messes with your mental capacity, your thoughts, and you can allow it to completely overtake everything that you think about, everything that you look at. I remember sitting on our couch in our living room and looking at the trees uh, in the garden and thinking, oh, is that the last time I'm gonna see the trees with green leaves? Is this the last summer that I'm gonna see the trees with green leaves? Am I gonna see these, you know, am I gonna see the autumn? Am I gonna see the tree bear at Christmas? But then how long is my life going to be? Because with cancer, you just, you don't know. My name is Colette Keck, I'm 54 years old. Um, I've had a terminal diagnosis of colon cancer. Um, I got cancer, or I got diagnosed with cancer three years ago, uh, and it was at stage three at that point in time. Um, but now uh, my diagnosis is terminal. For me, it's really important that people donate towards Beechwood because when I was looking for counselling services for myself and for my children, um, there, were, there really weren't any available via um, the hospital. So I contacted um, my Macmillan nurse and I contacted um, my oncologist um, and spoke about counselling for the children. And they really couldn't, di they really couldn't direct me um, in to it to anyone um, and it was almost by accident that I um, discovered Beechwood as a, uh, because I was looking for a wig service um, and it was only through the information centre at the Christie uh, that they mentioned to me that Beechwood exists and that this is where I could access counselling services for me and for my family. And I think if it wasn't for Beechwood um, and it wasn't for the donations that people make to Beechwood to make that counselling available um, to people like myself and my family, um, then there wouldn't have been anything else. And the counselling for me and for my 12 year old has been uh, transformational for us. To be able to have a conversation with somebody that you can just tell them what has happened to you and how that has made you feel is, it's very comforting in a way to, to be able to do that um, because you sort of, you, you know that you can offload your thoughts onto this person and you're not hurting them. You know that they, they have a distance from you in a way because they're, they're not family, they're not friends, they don't have an emotional connection to you. So actually it's easier to be able to say, this has happened, these, all of these things have happened to me and it's been horrific, yeah? But I, I am coping with it, but I need some help to cope with it. 